Hello everyone, it is Justice, and today I'm going to be showing what I won, won from Atlas Stationers. So, you know how there's always tons of giveaways and things on Instagram, etc. Um, I have now won a giveaway from Atlas Stationers. How exciting! I will link them down below. They're a stationery shop in Chicago, Illinois, and I follow them a lot. They tend to do a lot of community outreach, community days. They do a lot of live streams on their Instagram and they're just generally fun, energetic people. Um, a member of their team just recently got engaged as well. So congratulations to you. But I know that you guys are excited to see what I won. So I will show you. First off, it came packaged in this box with a happy little Atlas Stationer sticker here and I have goals to peel it off and try to peel it off to where it actually stays together so that I can a scrapbook it. I am I'm so energetic today. I am I'm so happy. Um but yeah I want to scrapbook that cute little thing and this was actually a giveaway I think in collaboration or in partnership with Pentel. So there's a number of things in the box. Let me show you. The first item was this backpack. It is an OGO backpack and it also has Pentel embroidered on it. This seems like honestly a very good quality backpack. Um, I could totally see me using this for like work or if I'm doing like a tech trip or something because there's also a ton of pockets. So looking at it. There's a little pocket down here. I can see like a pencil case going here. There is this front pocket, which they had a lot of the goodies in here, but I took most of them out just so I can show you later. But these two are here. I will show you them in a moment. There is this pocket, which also has like tons of mini pockets. So this goes deep right here. There is a zip to where you can put more things in here. Another, you have little divided areas where you could put like pencils, pens, highlighters. This pop-up flap with more room, like an ID holder, another zip, another little pocket, fancy. I have zipped up the pockets that we have already looked at so that I don't get confused and say things twice. There is also this pocket which has what I believe to be like a laptop sleeve. The tech specs here, there is an audio pocket, an organizer panel, a cell pocket, a laptop sleeve, a hydrator ready, a hydration ready. I don't quite know what that means. Digital audio pouch, key clip, file stash, mouse pocket, power source, power cord, and travel essentials. I don't know. But if you unzip this here, you can get in. So I think that might be explaining like the multi-uses of what the special pocket could be. And then it's also got little side compartments. So one, oh, I just closed it, my bad. One here and one here and one here. So there's two on this side, one deep one on this side. And there's also, you can also put something here and it has like the little audio. So if you're having music on headphones or something, you can loop the little wire through. The back looks like this. It has a bit of padding so that you don't like, actually, I don't know if you're allowed to say that on YouTube, so that your back doesn't hurt. It's also got the chest strap so that you can add support. And yeah, that's, that's the backpack. It's really nice. Onto the contents of the backpack. So there's a few items that are just like branded for Pentel, one of which is a mask that has Pentel on it. Looks like so. I'm like so serving the stationary realness right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, that was really cringy. <laughs> there is a beach ball that has Pentel and being a Florida girl, obviously I'm going to be using that. And the last item of brand branded merch, oh my God, is a Pentel fanny pack. 
So it's just like a standard fanny pack, opens here, has a little bit of room, and it says Pentel on it. And the extra fun part, which I'm sure you're actually wondering about, like what did you win stationary wise, girl? All this, all of this. So let's start. The first item, which I'm actually very thankful for because I'm in the market for some new erasers. Um, I got some Pentel high polymer erasers. I got both the brick eraser as well as the little pencil toppers. Super nice. Um, I'm starting a new Dungeons and I'm starting a new Dungeons and Dragons campaign in the new year and I have been making tons and tons of notes because this will be the first time that I am the dungeon master which if you're unfamiliar with Dungeons and Dragons it essentially means that I am creating the entire story that everyone is playing which means that things can change because players can do things that you may not have planned for. Erasers are going to be really nice for that. The next item that we have here, Pentel Energel RTX liquid gel pens in tons of colors as well. There's 14 pens here and they're all in 07 line width. So in a little bit, I will show you how these all write. Pentel Twist Erase Express mechanical pencils. These are in 07 millimeters thickness again, which I believe is a fairly common thickness in terms of what I see in stores as well. And they come in a few different colors, some extra lead as well as an eraser. Like I said, these are going to be really nice. Medium RSVP Super RT ballpoint pen. These also come in a ton of different colors. It's been a while since I have been into ballpoint pens, so I will try this out. If any of these I'm not a super big fan of, I have a lot of teachers in my family and in my close friends, so like teachers could always use some colorful pens. The Pentel Energel X, and I'm really, really excited about this one. This will be like the nicest mechanical pencil that I have ever owned. This is the Graphic Gear 1000 Premium Mechanical Pencil. It comes with extra erasers, extra lead, and it's a 0.5 millimeter, which is a little bit thinner, and I tend to like a thinner line. So I'm really particularly excited about this. I got not one, but two Atlas Stationers postcards. These are going on the fridge. Happy Fountain Pen Day from Team Atlas. And time to say, have a super day. I can't read, I can't read the signature though. So if you wrote this and you're watching it, thank you so much. These are going on my fridge. I also have um, a thing in my little office room here where I can like hang a ton of cute things cause I have a cork board. So this may go on the fridge and then another one may go in my room. I love postcards, love them. Okay, it is voiceover justice here and that is absolutely a reference to Job's journal and how every single time he clips to like an overhead shot he's like voice over Job here and like I know that's not how he sounds but we're just going to let that slide and just say that that was a very awesome Job impression really the best thing I can do in terms of explaining his voice is that it's kind of soft and airy but like not really that soft and airy, a very casual level of soft and airy put into a normal voice. Anyways, the Pentel Energel 0.7 millimeter pens come in a really great array of colors. Um, the yellow, the yellow I was very surprised by because I was not expecting to be able to see it very well. With these pens as well, all of them come with the little rubber cap things covering the tip to make sure that they stay uh, nice and juicy. These really glide, so I wasn't expecting to like them more than the Pentel Energel X, which we have not come to yet, but I kind of do. One thing that the Pentel Energel X has that the Pentel Energel does not have though, or at least out of the ones that I received, is style. The Pentel Energel X has a really cute body compared to the regular Energel, in my opinion, because the entire body is that one color and the other ones have like a lot of silver components. That's entirely me being a weirdo. Silver components really irritate me. 
if you've noticed in my videos and within my stationery collection, I tend to avoid the color silver and silver hardware on things. I probably own two, maybe three total pens that have silver hardware only because I am completely biased against silver. I like gold, I like rose gold, I like brass. So that is something to keep in mind for me at least. Haven't met anyone that is so averse, but I just wanted to mention it. The Pentel Energel X has a very thin nib, which it's going to be thinner. It's a 0.5 millimeter. It doesn't feel nearly as smooth as the 0.7 millimeter Pentel Energels, but it is still quite smooth. Neither of them are bleeding through the pages either. In case you're curious, the paper that I'm using is Midori MD paper. I just cut down one of the A5 notebooks to be able to fit my traveler size items. These here, by the way, are the Pentel RSVP Super RT 1.0s, as if you probably can't read it, but I know that I like to kind of play videos in the background while I cook and do chores, so like, the couple of you out there that have me on in the background and aren't fully paying attention to the screen, I got you. Next up, we have the set of mechanical pencils. These feel a bit strange in my hand. The lead also was a bit more hard than I was expecting. I feel like whenever I use mechanical pencils, it tends to be like a smooth, soft lead. This was a little bit more rough than I was expecting, but you can see particularly in the writing for the 0.7 millimeter portion, it does get softer if you press down some. It's just been a while, girl. The eraser is also superb. It feels very nice and soft. Sometimes erasers, whenever you use them, they don't feel soft. They feel kind of rigid, like they're going to cut the paper. This is not the case at all. I trust this eraser with my entire heart. This Pentel graphic gear, it feels really good in the, in the hand. And I know, I know I just said that I really hate silver. Silver is the worst. But at the same time, this is a really nice pencil and I'm going to keep it and use it and love it and cherish it. Okay, now that I've like done all of the pen testing and stuff, can we just like look at this one mess, particularly because every single pen had one of those little protective caps, which like super appreciated. I love whenever pens come with those little caps because it means it's way less likely I'm gonna be mad that something doesn't work. But like, this is so satisfying. Got a little pile here of mechanical pencils. Got a little pile here of, I think, those are the ballpoint pens. Oh my god, no. No, these are the inner gel X. These are gel pens. Those are actually really good. And then we have these ones, which are just the inner gels. These are also really good. And then we have the ballpoint pens, which like I'm a little bit biased. I don't typically use ballpoint pens because I don't favor them. So very likely that they're going to be donated to one of my teacher friends, which like, thank you Pentel and Atlas Stationers for contributing to one me, but two, your local teachers. Yay. And like, maybe not their local teachers considering that I am across the country, but like, you get the idea, girl. These write fairly well. They're a bit darker than this one here because it is thicker too, most likely. This graph gear is going to be my new, like, every single day mechanical pencil, just my one. And then, let's see here. These are the Pentel RSVP Super RT 1.0 ball pens. Ballpoint pens, sorry. Very beautiful colors. They write very smooth for a ballpoint pen, but like I said, I am just not biased towards ballpoint pens. These are the Pentel Energel X. I loved these. I really, really, really want to keep these and use them for myself. So nice. And the last little bit, I skipped around pages because I, I like to do these on the right side of the page. It's like a thing. Um, do, do, do. Here we are. And these are the Pentel Energels. These write really, really smoothly. Like these glide across the paper very easily. Whereas the Energel X, the nib size I have is a little bit smaller. It's a 0.5 as opposed to a 0.7, so it feels a bit scratchier. These are super smooth, but also a thicker line. These also, in the pack that I got, come in more colors. 
so take this how you will. Also, I'm very surprised that I can read the yellow as well as I can. I will say that. Huge thank you to Atlas Stationers for hosting the giveaway. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was super fun for me to make, particularly coming back from my trip and seeing a giant box from Atlas Stationers at my doorstep. A dream, honestly. Tell me you haven't had that dream before. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I hope you have a great one. Bye everyone.